Four videos, five questions, nine people. Let's see how they react to the word in the industry. Cybersecurity. Eh. Today we will be watching some YouTube videos. Yo, who's this guy? I don't know who this is. How are you this morning? Oh, are we actually filming? Is this? Oh, this is an actual film. Yeah. Oh, this is an actual film. You actually started filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So today we will be reacting to four videos. We're starting with video number one, which is a day in the life of cybersecurity student. All right. Here we go. Grant, why are you putting your coffee mug on the mouse pad? Dude, what are you, please. Wake up at 5.30 every morning. You look so young. He's an infant. Do I look different this year? Uh, yes, reading a nice good book. Rational, male, phenomenal book. Oh, male. Oh my God. <laughs> Rational, male. video really made me like feel bad about my entire life. So, after watching that video. Yes, sir. Do you think I still do that routine? No. Mm. Not at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was like, I see you later than 9.45 sometimes. <laughs> Mostly. You think so? I saw you out running yesterday. You did? We have messed, I've messed up your routine. You have messed up my routine. You guys have corrupted <laughs> me with your college. <laughs> you are welcome. Extracting a password. That's happened to me before. Before, before I was cyber security okay. major. Before you were cyber security. Now I'm aware. You're aware. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. My god, I love, love Dr. It. Phil. Yes. Bring so. on the drive that you find on the ground or that someone sends you in the mail that if when you plug that into your computer it could install malicious software did you know this of course okay <laughs> of course he knows that don't ever insult this intelligence just uh what? yeah it's a bottom okay, one yeah press the a button there it goes. That's the malware being injected. And now I'm able to take full control of this computer as a hacker. So I could go through all the files on the computer. I can turn on the microphone and listen to the conversations in the room. Or what is really scary is I could turn on the victim's webcam mm. and now I could spy on you. That's terrifying. You could like have a webcam. Yeah, I didn't know you could do it with just a cable though. Yeah. That's weird. No thanks. Scary. That's weird. No thanks. Have you guys ever heard of, um, did you guys know about that? That you can like turn yeah. on your microphone? Usually people do know about that one. But then they can also turn on your microphone. I knew about and that And that's one. something that you wouldn't even be able to like notice. Yeah, like you can right. see the webcam light, but the microphone. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I've definitely heard of like you gotta use a password manager. It's like you don't want to use the same password for everything, but if you have a password manager, you can hold all of them in one spot. That's like secure. I knew to use an ad blocker. And... What's a VPN? Yeah, what's that? Watching those videos, I have five questions for you. Five of them? When you think of the word cybersecurity, what comes to mind? Infinite possibility. The NSA. The NSA. Keeping yourself safe online, like protecting your data, you know, just like general security, but online. I have a stupid answer to I that. I do. Please, please, please. Uh... You come to my mind. Yeah, seriously, okay. I was going to say Grant Collins. Hacker man. I feel like you have impressioned on us to where it is kind of, I think, of you now. How do you think you should stay safe online 
and do you know any strategies? Well, yeah, uh, so a few of them were actually in the previous video. Um, using a password manager, uh, pretty secure, using a, a VPN. Um, never download anything that you don't like need to download. Um, the big green download buttons usually aren't the correct yeah. download buttons. Look around a little bit more. I don't download random stuff off of the internet. That's true. Yeah, click random, don't click random links. Well, if I'm on like a website and it wants for information, I actually have a separate email with a different password and everything. So mm -hmm. if I need something from that, but I don't really trust the website or anything, I use that fake account. I'm purchasing things. I know to look for the little lock on the, uh, you know, next to the web address. Mm -hmm. If a service was breached and records were released, would you have any idea of like what to do? Your personal records were released. Um, Gmail is ever, Gmail I have like the greatest security on. If that is ever like taken, I get like 30 different emails because you know, like, Google freaks out. Yeah. But other than that, like, there's like a pretty low chance of me actually knowing if something bad has happened. Okay. Probably not. No. 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 Unless it's on the news, I, I don't see how you would know. No. No. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know, like... Very common within the security industry yes. is password reuse. And something that I'm guilty of myself. So, right. <clears throat> have you ever reused a password? I can neither confirm nor deny. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes. yes. Like I just said, I use the same <laughs> one for all of them. I have the yes, same like three passwords. He yells at me every day for my passwords. I have like the same right. four passwords I've used since I was I like have like 10. an easy one and then I have one that I use for everything and then I have like a s safer one that like yeah. is more complex. Yeah, I guess. is that like two different ones? Two. Yeah. I have like four or five. Yeah, a lot of my accounts have like the exact same password. You know, like when I was a kid, it was easy to remember one password, mm -hmm. so I made the password for everything like the same. And I'm still guilty of that. I need to change them. I just haven't gotten around to it. How would you go about creating a password? Right. So in the instance of creating a password, I think of something that nobody else would be thinking of at that time, which I know sounds impossible. But then I use like that string. So let's just say, and this isn't like a real password of mine. Let's just make up a password mm -hmm. in, in Zach's perspective. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm looking outside. I'm seeing a beautiful tree. So maybe my password, as dumb as it sounds, would be beautiful tree. Some characters would be capitalized, others would be lowercase, and some characters might be substituted with letters, uh, some may not. Uh, it really depends, but I always, always, always use characters, numbers, and punctuation. Um, it's something incredibly random, Okay. but it does, like, it's something I remember. Is, um, so, like, originally I would use, like, one phrase for everything with, like, I mean, like, the number characteristic, mm -hmm. like, has to have a number, a capital letter. Yeah. But then, eventually, I was making, like, a Gmail password It said, like, you need, like, a capital, a special character. So yeah. I have, like, a couple different passwords that I use for, like, different things of like various requirements for the password. Well, the one password that I pretty much have, I've seen it in my room, was like, there you go. Um, all right, so little 10 year old me thought I was really smart. So I am, um, I think I think of a phrase that I know I'll memorize from like a movie. So okay. like Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. um, when Gandalf's on the bridge and he says, you shall not pass. Yeah. So the first letter of the first word and the last letter of the last word, I capitalize, and then between every other first letter of each word, I put a number. I need to go get a laptop here in a second. I'm gonna guess your password. Okay. If I can remember, yeah. like, that has to do with me. Certain numbers I can Yeah, certain know. numbers certain and, like, numbers. letters. Yeah. So something like... See, mine's not, like, random letters. Um, mine's not random, mine, like... but it's just, like, it's not, like, my name, you know? Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it was rather interesting to see how the average tech user, just a random person, not really random, but my friends, uh, what they thought about when it comes to cybersecurity. And I thought it was really interesting. And I think a lot of people don't have any idea on how to start managing an effective cybersecurity or an online security solution. And so I, uh, you know, I think that it's interesting and it's something that the aspiring cybersecurity professional, it's something that I need to continue to bring awareness to that there is solutions out there. 
and password managers are one of them. So that is it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please consider uh, subscribing. And until the next time, have a good day.